Hey guys, welcome back to another video by Fully Informed Trade or Fire Trade for short, knowledge for everyone. My name is Alex Cho and today I am going to be talking about the ticker symbol SLV iShares Silver Trust ETF. And the iShares Silver ETF is basically a commodity buying fund that buys silver, the actual commodity. And right now the SLV is pulling back. It is getting pretty close to that 20 day moving average. It is Again, it has touched it, it bounced off it a little bit, but chances are I think this will eventually continue. I think it will roll over and perhaps have a couple uh, strong days of declines, perhaps break below this trend line. But right now at these levels, silver does not really appeal to me. The main reason is, is because, again, we're, expe we're, we're, we're honestly expecting a lot of European inflation monetary policy. And that basically means that Europe is going to inflate their economy. And that is going to be very, very favorable to the dollar. And that should mean that the Euro US dollar will most likely continue to fall. If in the event the Euro US dollar continues to fall, that should mean a stronger dollar. And a stronger dollar being the fact that silver is traded as a pair against the dollars, as is, um, if you notice the silver spot on the foreign exchange, it's XAG USD, so it's paired directly to the dollar. Usually what will happen is, is that if the dollar strengthens against uh, other exchanges or in the currency market, what will happen is, is that silver will pull back. So a stronger dollar from a currency exchange standpoint will imply weakness for the silver and gold market combined. This could also apply to other commodities as well. So therefore, it is probably a very, very good idea to assume that if a stronger dollar were to emerge, which I believe it will, and the Euro US dollar were to continue this downwards trend, chances are silver and gold will also follow through on that promise of perhaps a downtrend as well. So that being said, how much lower and where are some interesting levels? Well I'm still thinking perhaps around the 2575 where the previous trend line where the market hit bottom. Another interesting area is around 26, but this is an area these aren't areas where you would buy the by the, I guess, the futures contract or the foreign exchange equivalent uh, or for two to three week long trades. These are areas where you would buy and hold for maybe around two to three trading sessions at most and then take your profits and then move on to the next trade. Those are the type of trades that I am talking about, which is basically swing trading. But other than that, you know, I still believe over the long term, silver will continue to fall. The U.S. Federal Mint did release the fact that people that the, the the actual demand for the precious metal silver in terms of investment grade silver has dropped, and it would not be surprising at all for me personally to see silver the demand for the investment grade silver to continue to fall when the prices of silver continue to fall. So and this kind of comes back to Soros reflexivity. The more the value of an asset declines, the less demand there will be for it. So it's not going to be very surprising to see the value of silver continue to erode, and so will the demand for silver as well. Take care, folks. You guys have a wonderful trading session today, and I look forward to talking to you guys more tomorrow.